the New Orleans Saints. It's the second of our two games here on this Saturday as Super Wild Card Weekend continues here on EA Sports. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Down, they start out with a band of candle. Treads him with a stiff arm. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And they'll go again with a band of candle. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. So from the 37, here's second down at a yard. The give now to Abana Kimba. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. That's caught. This is a band of Kanda. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Well, he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Second down and six now. Now it's Wilson. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Here is third and five. Now it's Wilson. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 14. A solid gain of 15 yards and the sticks move. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. From the gun, here's Abanacanda. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. On second down, it's Abanacanda. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. On third down, Wilson. And this pass broken up. 
Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. And his kick here is good. Every possession in the postseason magnified, and look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They've got their home crowd into it as well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down a little bit, so every point is precious. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 31 yard line. Hey, let's go. They'll start out on the ground and Saquon Barkley and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside but he decided that wasn't enough for him worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. 63, 63, 63. Throwing his hurts. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A big pickup there for the Eagles first down, 18 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. A first down carry for Barkley, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 35. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. And Hurts going to move him around. completing this one quickly. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. But Charles, what a rookie season he had catching the football over 1,000 yards on the year, and he comes through there with a nice grab. And we've seen wide receivers in recent years come in and have big years right away. And you think about Justin Jefferson in 2020, 1,400 yards and huge impact on his team and on the league. This guy, he's following his footsteps as an impact guy here in year one. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Ball on the 27. Here's second and a couple. Now Hurts on the option right. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. That 
second down play, and that's a minus four. But sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw a defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. Here's Hurts to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 17-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. You're not liking the look. They'll change the play. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Good running right there. And this is a man who was a 1,000-yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up nice yardage on that one. Here now, second and four. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Sets up to throw it. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Nothing open downfield. He had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. It became an all arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. Sneak gets hurt, and he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that, but by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And this is a big play in this wild card matchup, facing third and goal. Touchdown run, and the Eagles have taken the lead. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to run with it, and a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how our drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. I go to the county fair, 
You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Now, here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Here's second and ten. Now Wilson. He gets it complete to A.T. Perry. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. From midfield now, here's Wilson. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Wilson will throw again. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But it certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball, possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Now Wilson on first down. He's in the space past the 25. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range, down just shy of the 20. First down at the 22-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Eluding the pressure, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Here's Wilson to throw. The pass caught by Alave. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Here's Wilson. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. receiver they're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half but the coverage has been tight all game long and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here now a second and ten oh, 
Throwing is Wilson. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. As soon as he leaped down and began his round, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So, yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wildcard bout. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they've been the better of the two teams through two quarters of play, much to the chagrin of this home crowd. Yeah, this score is a surprise to a lot of folks at home, although not to my dad. He predicted trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Armour Davis. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. A band of Canada on first and ten. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. Abanacanda once again. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Israel Abanacanda. 13-yard touchdown run. And the Saints have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Now the Saints offense will remain on the field and go for two. Now Wilson changing the play. They'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack. And they fail on the try for two. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. this Philly offense set to go and we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position Charles after throwing their first interception of the ball game yeah some guys you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back others they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes get a little momentum back that way but for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Well, it looks like they'll move things around here. Her 
Hurts with a quick throw complete. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. 63, 63, 63, 63, 63, 63, 63, 63. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second and a couple. He'll drop to throw. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They'll set up a throw. This will be caught by Brown. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. Yeah, the Saints signal for another timeout. And that's going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. We'll be back. Second down in the yard. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. 
No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? Second down, here's Hurts. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, his second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles have regained the lead. And now this is right in Kyle Shanahan's wheelhouse. He'll go for two here. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. On the return, here's Rashid Shaheed. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Third quarter, wild card round. Thanks for being along for the playoff ride with us. Here's second and 10. In motion right, Alave. Motion comes too late, and this is going to be a delay. Now, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Wilson. A short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. On the handoff, a Banacanda. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On the ground, it's Abanacanda. And not much of an opening there as he's only going to get this to about the 32. One quarter remains in this NFC wild card matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Offense on third down tonight. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. From the shotgun, Wilson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. 
picked off by Reed Blankenship. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Now Hurts looking to change the play. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Flushed out right, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That's big Jordan Davis powering in to drop it. Okay, was it a breakdown of protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Under pressure, they got him again. Chase Young in there to drop him at sacks on first and second downs. Now leads to a third and long. So once again, they dial up the pressure and get home and get a sack. It brings up the third and long, but it's really not an unmakeable one, especially considering they just gave up back-to-back -back sacks. Throwing his hurts. Devontae Smith, and down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one, but he made his presence oh, no, felt no. there. A big pickup on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Now they'll change things up. No one left in the backfield as they send a man left. It's Barkley once again bringing in the catch. Touchdown, Eagles! Saquon Barkley from four yards out. And the Eagles get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Elliott good with a PAT. And that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. If they want to advance in this divisional round, look, obviously the time is now. Trailing here in the fourth as they go to work on a crucial, crucial drive, first and ten. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. In motion right, Alave. On second down, Wilson. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And that's a much needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. Check 
They'll run it with the band of Kanda. To the 43, second down. And they're going to speed things up here. Here's a band of Kanda. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. This now a third and four. Wilson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. On oh, a bad time late for a poor throw. It's intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. The fourth down, they felt compelled to go for it, and he throws the INT. Yeah, he knows that you can't take a sack there, so he had to try and force one in. Now, this might not be a throw he makes if we're in the second quarter, but he had to take the chance there, and this one wound up being intercepted. The pitch goes to Barkley. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. And in a situation like this, you're in the second half with the lead, trying to get to the division round. They're going to let him do his thing on the ground, and that's a great run there to pick up a first down. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Hurt's going to keep it running right. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts, a 23-yard run. And the Eagles have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. They'll come up first and 10 here. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles will take over possession here up at the 44. Well, obviously, Charles, this stage of the game, down two scores, they had to put the football in the air. Unfortunately, it gets picked off. And the criticism comes easily in situations like this, but you just laid it out. Look where they are on the scoreboard. Look at where the clock is in the game. He has to take a chance here and try and get the ball downfield to his receivers. Unfortunately, it was picked off. 
54 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. there fourth and three now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock here's Jake Elliott career long by the way for him 61 yards this to make it a three score game late that's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar. And that will keep this a 15-point game. I, uh, I, I got nothing after that try. Yeah, don't even. Don't even try. I mean, he tried it from the parking lot. <laughs> First and ten, it's Wilson. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Isaiah Foskey in there to bury him for a loss of 11. And a wild card win moves them on to the divisional round. Everyone plays all year long for the right to get into the tournament, as they like to call it. Wild card, divisional, doesn't matter to them. One moves on, one goes home. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From New Orleans, good night, everybody.